So this is a quick video, just how I make my acetate for my goggles or my sunglasses. So you're gonna have two pieces here, and I don't ever use this piece for the actual light blue part that would appear to be the glasses. So I either delete it or hide it. I then select my main piece and I duplicate it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color because I do not want it in the same color as this. And down on the bottom here, I click contour and I hide this, which is the light blue piece that we hid. The reason I hide this is so then we have a solid piece. And that then will allow you to cut it out in acetate and also in a dark gray if you're gonna use a darker color behind it or black, depending on what you wanna use it for. And I'm gonna duplicate this one more time. I'm going to change the color. We'll make that one the gray so I can do it in three layers. And so you're gonna have three of the same shapes but two with no contour and this one contoured so this little piece here is going to be filled in you're going to click it to make it go ahead and get your pads this i'll do in the dark gray the next pad will be my acetate the clear and the main top one will be a primary color and i'll be back shortly okay and we're back so the part that we contoured out of the glasses and added back in would be this piece here, which makes it the solid and turns it into this. And all I do for this is add my Cosmic Shimmer Flake and Glitter Glue. It comes in two sizes. The sticker came off this one and I refill it into the smaller bottle. And what you're going to do is add a very thin layer onto the back of your top piece and your bottom piece. These are gonna be the pieces that stick to the acetate. So basically a sandwich, your top bun and your bottom bun. The middle piece, your meat or cheese, whatever you put inside your sandwich is gonna be left alone. Just remember it that way. So we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna go just around the edge of this piece as well and this is gonna to stick to the bottom of the acetate. This is the bottom bread, the bottom of your sandwich. And the reason we're gonna let this dry is so it does not smudge and smear and gravitate up onto the acetate. So while those are drying, I'm gonna peel the acetate off. I might have to pause the video for a moment to let those completely dry. Get it off of your hands though <clears throat> before you grab your acetate because it will leave marks on your acetate. I do use this, it's from Target. It's by Method, it's glass cleaner, but it's ammonia free and it's plant-based. It gets all of the ink off my hands, the acid or the glues. That way when I touch the acetate, I'm not transferring glue onto any of it. Now, depending on what brand your acetate is, there will be a top protector and a bottom. I do save my top protector. It doesn't matter which one. Um, that way I can put it on over once my piece is complete. Problem with my fingers is I can't fill when I actually have it. I have to watch. Okay. And the reason why I save one of the protectors is because I will place it over just to protect it during shipping. And I write a little note with a Sharpie, you know, peel me off for them. So I'm gonna let these dry a little bit more. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back once they're completely dry. Okay, so my pieces are dry. And the only other thing that I can recommend is the Xyron Permanent Sticker Maker. They have different ones, but a sticker maker. And what I would do is run this piece face up through here and it comes out on this sheet and then you would peel it off and this part would be sticky but that's up to you guys. 
Um, these do get very costly, the refills, so I baby those. Now, this is already dry, so what I'm going to do is pick my acetate piece up, and I'm going to lay it the best I can with it sticking to my fingers. like so. And now your first piece is on. So that piece that I had you save, all I do is lay it right over the top. And that protects this, one from your fingers, two from scratches. And this other piece I'm going to lay, I'm here's the sandwich. I'm going to scoot it over so the gray is evenly behind. And once it's down, here's where this comes in handy, your top cover. <clears throat> and all I do is I take super fine scissors and I will, let me find my camera trim off this little edge here. You can shrink it in design space, but I don't always remember to do so. And these are really simple to make. For the goggles, I wouldn't have put the gray backing on. I would have just left it with the acetate and um, the goggle front, because these actually go to a goggle set. And I would have just then, instead of gluing on the gray piece, I would have glued along the outer edge of the back of the acetate and stuck it right to his head. Um, any questions, let me know. I hope this simplifies it for you, but this is definitely a must have for acetate because it dries. So when you press down to form your seal of your piece, you're not squishing the glue under the acetate because there's no way to clean it once it's under there. It makes a huge mess. All right, take care guys.